So I went to the cinema the other day, and I have to admit that I was surprised. What I thought I was going to see, and what many people had called this film based off of the trailers, was Taken, but with Jackie Chan instead of Liam Neeson. I expected a whole bunch of fight scenes and a guy threatening people to protect his daughter, and you know, all that stuff. I'm just going to say it now, but The Foreigner is nothing like the Taken series. Depending on who you are, that could be a good or a bad thing. So allow me to better explain the movie so you can get a clearer picture of what I'm talking about. Based on the 1992 novel The Chinaman by Stephen Leather, The Foreigner follows the story of a London Chinese restaurant owner named Quan, who loses his teenage daughter in a senseless act of politically motivated terrorism. That might seem like a spoiler, but trust me, it happens like in the first, I want to say five minutes of the movie, and I know a lot of trailers kind of show it, so anyway. Claiming responsibility for the crime is a group calling themselves the Authentic IRA, though no one seems to be able to identify who they are or where this new terrorist group emerged from. Not even Irish Deputy Minister Liam Hennessy, a former IRA member turned British government official who publicly condemns all the civilian deaths as in charge of tracking down the bombers. Though Quan is at first severely depressed by the death of his daughter, this soon turns to rage, as he goes on a revenge fuel vendetta to take down those responsible. Before long, this of course leads to Quan crossing paths with Hennessy, whose past may hold clues to the identities of the killers. However, Quan has some secrets of his own that he had been hoping to leave far behind him and are now being forced to emerge. When it comes to the two leads, Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan, I felt that they gave really great performances. Both of these guys did some really interesting stuff that people aren't really used to seeing them do, and I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, they've done some other stuff if you have looked into their filmography, but when the one who is known for goofy antics and acrobatics is seen playing a broken down, vengeful father, and the other one, who is best known as a suave British spy, is seen playing a loud, middle-aged politician with an Irish accent, it sticks to you. I never thought I would see a movie with these two men together, and yet, here we are. And it actually works quite well. However, with that, I have to admit that I felt the rest of the cast was pretty forgettable and didn't stand out at all. If I had to tell you anything about the members of the authentic IRA, who let me remind you, are supposed to be the villains of the movie, all I draw is a blank. Speaking of which, the IRA is an interesting choice as a villain in 2017. While yes, they still exist to this day, it's not like you really hear about them and I doubt anyone under a certain age even knows about their brutal history. See, back when the book was written in the 90s, the IRA was bombing stuff up, and so it made sense to talk about them since they were topical. Now though, it feels weird to hear the movie talk about all the past fights and carnage, then the ceasefires and peace treaties and all that. It's almost like a weird culture clash or something. Unfortunately, politics and overall talk regarding these past struggles is a large part of the movie. So yeah, just a heads up that if you're expecting a whole bunch of action, you might want to settle down as there will be a lot of this kind of talk. However, that isn't to say that there isn't any action. From Jackie Chan's character fighting off attackers in a small Airbnb, to hunting down people in the middle of a forest, we get some pretty cool fights. I thought the action was well done, and even appreciated that it seemed to reflect Jackie Chan's age. While he still does some impressive stuff, it's not like he jumps across rooftops nor does any crazy parkour moves. Even when he fights and gets hit, they stop to show that he's human and blows affect him. I enjoyed this, and the fact that they seemed to acknowledge that he's gained on in years and had him do fairly realistic things was, in my opinion, a nice way to keep the film grounded. Like, yes, he's super badass and can do stuff that would take some incredible skill, but he's still a human. Better, in my opinion, to portray him like this than like some invincible superhero like in The Expendables or The Fast and the Furious or whatever. However, once again, just want to put it out there the movie isn't exactly action-packed, so expect action scenes to be few and far between. So yeah, as you can see, the film has its pros and cons. On the one hand, we have great acting from its stars, cool action scenes, and though I don't want to get into the story and spoil it, a really good emotional ride as you follow Jackie's quest for justice. On the other hand though, the rest of the characters in this movie, including the villains, are pretty unremarkable, 
The whole IRA terrorist thing feels like a story better suited for a 90s movie, and there is a lot of talking. Personally, I don't mind that sort of thing, but I know that there are some people who want big spectacle if they walk into what seems to be an action movie, so it only seems fair to try and be more straightforward than the trailers. When it comes down to it, I definitely recommend this movie. Sure, I can't tell you if you will enjoy it, seeing as how everyone watching this video has different stuff that is up their alley, but what I can tell you is that if any of what I talked about in this video seemed interesting to you, then why not give it a chance? Jackie Chan is 63 years old, and he is still working his butt off doing stunts to entertain us. How about we show him some love, you know? But hey, that's just my opinion. And remember, don't take anything I say too seriously. After all, I'm just the wannabe reviewer. Thanks for watching. We have multiple jokes about some creepy fat guy wanting to get with little girls. Moving on. Get it? The candles for marriage. Symbolism. Subtle.